I've been dead before. I've, I was, that's how bad it's been, right? But I was brought back by the, uh, by the paramedics. A recovering substance user, Sean Graves says naloxone has saved his life more than once. Now, as a student in the street degree program, he has learned how to use it himself. I, I make a point of uh, freeing up my schedule to make sure that I at least go to the make the course. Classes are held two days a month at Japanese Hall in Vancouver's downtown east side. As an instructor, you really get to see people gaining confidence and skills and, and getting good at using the tools that they need to use. In 2023, there were upwards of 2,500 suspected illicit drug deaths in the province. That is equivalent to seven deaths a day. The street degree program is part of BC's toxic drug emergency response. Since 2017, more than 1,100 people have taken the course. Nearly 80 people have graduated after fulfilling 20 hours of training. Many who take the course work at overdose prevention sites. It's been really successful. People really enjoy taking it. It's very useful. There's obviously real-world application. It's very practical. Um, there are employment opportunities, and it's a great asset to the camp as well to have those skills. Start working with us as a, a casual educator, you know, end up managing at a different OPS and just uh, or become a drug checking expert. One of them is Crab Park resident Clint Redden, who has worked at a number of overdose prevention sites. It gives you more confidence to go and, and, and apply to those jobs, right? And it, they're definitely more likely to hire you if, you if you got the degree. Well, it means a lot to people to get the degree. People often want their photo taken with the degree. They want to send it to their families. The program also teaches broader skills such as conflict resolution, public speaking, and life lessons. Just teaching you how to be, uh, just how to be human again, you know what I mean? Because down here, life can be really, really, really hard. Shaurya Chetri, CBC News, Vancouver.